bring you solidarity greetings from Jeremy Corbyn as well. He's in Scotland at the moment at a rally. But he wants to make sure, make you sure you're aware you have our 100% support in this campaign. All the way through the last... Well, the last couple of years we've been campaigning across London for the living wage. Why? Because at the moment large numbers of people are in work at the moment cannot survive on the wages that they have in London in particular. Two thirds of our children now who are living in poverty are living in families where people are in work. And the lesson of that is that wages are too low. And the corollary to that is whilst wages are too low, profits are too high. Shareholders at the moment are taking over 50% of the income coming in nationally. It's the first time in generations that shareholders are now getting more than workers themselves. And what does that spell out? Well, you know as best as I. It spells out exploitation. So what this campaign is all about is ending that exploitation, the bullying of management, the demand for recognition of trade unions, and as a result of that, the demand for a living wage. When we take action, we understand the suffering that causes people, the sacrifice it makes. But every action that's taken furthers the opportunity of gaining that living wage and gaining trade union recognition. So we have a simple message to government and employers. We will not go away. We will continue this campaign until we achieve the living wage, trade union recognition and respect for workers within our society. All across the country at the moment, different disputes are breaking out and whether it's in the fast food chains or whether it's in individual factories or whether it's individual distribution centres and yes, cinemas and theatres elsewhere. And it's simply people asking for justice. The justice to be paid a living wage that people can live upon. Whilst housing costs increase, living, the inflation is increasing, we now have a million people a year having to go to food banks just to put food on their table. We need now to concert a campaign through across the TUC trade unions to demand the living wage. We need solidarity action as well, and we need a coordinated campaign of industrial action where necessary. We've seen in individual cities like Sheffield and elsewhere, the Trades Council organised trade unions come together to do what? To demonstrate, take action, take direct action in support of this campaign. What do we need? I just say there's always three things. One is, yes, determination, absolute determination that we will campaign and we will win in this campaign for the living wage. But sometimes courage as well. And there's individuals here and part of this campaign who courageously have stood up in their individual companies, in the cinemas, in the restaurants, the bars and all the rest of it, as individuals to recruit others into that campaign. And I pay tribute because they're the heroes and heroines of this campaign. But above all else, what do we need? It's the third thing. It's the secret we discovered a century and a half ago at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. It was when people came together, we put it on our banners. Unity is strength. Injury to one is an injury to all. In Latin America, they had the slogan, the workers united will be, never be defeated. What's the secret? It's solidarity. So with courage and determination and solidarity, we will win this campaign and we will win the living wage for all. Solidarity. Woo!